Ladies and gentlemen, I am the Warboss Squee, and we are once again playing Fallout 4 Survival. And this time we are still using the Ballistic Realism Overhaul mod. A uh, poster by the name of Anthony C. dropped a comment on my last Fallout 4 video saying that, hey, he really likes this mod, and he'd like to see me do some more with it. And since this is the first person to comment on one of my Fallout videos in a very long time... Well, all right, Anthony C. You got it. Grab that real quick. Now, there has been an update to this mod since last I used it, which raised the carrying capacity to 100. Apparently, the fact that it was only 45 pounds was a bit of an error. It happens. Not really too worried about that. Downsides, I have to remember what I was doing, because it's been a while since I played this. And if I sound a little fun, you're going to have to forgive me. I just got up. Uh, went to bed early after working almost 10 hours at a restaurant. And having only slept 45 minutes in the last two days, I was very, very tired. So. You see, my carry capacity is at uh, 285 now. So that extra carry weight certainly does help. Let's see, country crossing... And I don't remember where those guys are. Dog, where did you find the black lab? Uh, I don't know what that is either. Alright, let's check both of these. Let's see. There's the black lab over there. That's over by the Boston Airport. Okay. Maybe where Country Crossing is. I'm not seeing a marker for it. Oh, no, never mind. Uh, it's right there. So that's, that's a ways away. We don't we don't have to go deal with that right now. Uh, second radar beacon, where are you at? That's down and raised that way, but... Not too far from where we are right now. Anyway, so... What I was going to say is that the reason I like the fact that the carry weight's been increased is that it allows me to actually bring guns. Before, the only thing I could carry was the 10mm, uh, and I like the 10mm quite a bit, but... There's uh, something to be said about carrying my plasma rifle. Like so, and I got my combat knife. I also got the Trooper Infantry Flare Gun. Ah, did I remember to bring flares? Did I, did I, did I? Uh, did it, did I? I do have flares. All right, good talk. But yeah, um, anything that actually makes the, ar the Powered Armor feel like an actual Powered Armor tank is incredibly useful to me. And I'm not one of those people that likes to carry it half a dozen uh, rifles and a dozen pistols all at once. Which is funny because uh, one of my favorite YouTubers is Many a True Nerd, and he does exactly that. I'm like, dude, just, you only need three. It's fine. But I really enjoy his content, so I don't mind. He's actually a really good YouTuber, and uh, I think he made like a... Got a feature like a magazine for completing a uh, a playthrough without ever dying in Fallout New Vegas. Uh, we should do Fallout New Vegas at some point. I love Fallout New Vegas. I'll admit, I like it a lot more. Check for traps real quick. Make sure there's not a bomb attached to this door. I like it more than I like Fallout 4. I love the graphics and I love the gameplay, but storyline-wise... The other one was better, in my opinion. But, I still really like this game, too. So, it works out. Here's Silt Beans, Blood Leaf. Uh, oh, bags of fertilizer. That's nice. And I can actually carry bags of fertilizer now. 
short syringe rifle. I don't have one of those. There's something else under here. Oh, hello! Control carry. Nice! Carrot, carrot, carrot. Melon and a gourd. Also known as a pumpkin. Okay, weight's gone up a little bit. Let's see what's this. Search. Interesting, that actually does damage. I don't remember it doing damage before. I thought it just was a uh, delivery system for whatever chemical payload you had. Uh, that's odd. I know this is a game where picking a fight is not advisable, but... I could really go for a fight right about now. Settlers, you're not one of mine. But you're not against me either, so let's say hello and see if maybe I can recruit you. I need to get back to Diamond City one of these days. Biggest town I ever saw. Oh, shit. <laughs> I know that sound. Question is, where is it? Why are you naked, dude? He's almost gotten killed. Who's oh, doing the damage? Oh, we've got we've got bad bots around here. Someone rust devils, I think. Or not. You guys handle these all by yourself. I'm actually a little bit impressed. Alright. Yeah, no wonder you guys look so big. Oh, there's Cricket! Cricket's over there! Let's go talk to Cricket real quick. This chick is like nine shades of bat shit, but I like her quite a bit. Small booms, big booms. I got them all. This young lady needs to lay off the psycho. Oh, goody. Let's make mischief. All right, let's see what she's got. Chinese officer sword, always nice. Eh, minigun actually looks really good under this mod. More grenades, I don't need. How much does Spray and Pray do? Oh my god. <laughs> That's fucking insane. At that point, what is an extra 15 points of area effect damage when you're already doing 706 damage? I mean, just... I need to send an email to the guy that made the uh, the BRO mod because that needs to be fixed. Because 15 damage on top of 706 is nothing. Hmm. Suppressed pistol would not be too bad. Plasma thrower. That's got the... Uh... The flamer barrel on I've never used that. I've never had an urge to turn my plasma rifle into a flamethrower when I can just have a flamethrower. Alright, batting helmet. Does not do a lot of uh, damage reduction there. That does, though. Spike armor is actually kind of good for once. I am noticing that not all of these are created equal. That's fine, though. Can't believe those settlers managed to handle those bots all by themselves. That is truly impressive. Wondering why I'm being so hesitant? I'm watching for landmines. Because landmines are bad. Ooh, plasma cartridges. Thank you very much. Right, no landmines like ooh, gone on a stick always nice. And you potted meat. I can't be positive, but I want to say potted meat spam. Could be wrong. Alright, look up.
Ah, bloat flies are actually another thing we need to watch out for. The reason that the rad roaches before give me so much trouble is because rad roaches do poison damage. Poison damage ignores armor. Not for crying out loud. Apparently, so do bloat flies, which eh, makes a certain amount of sense. I'm not positive it should work that way, since you should actually have to get through the armor to poison me, but... Eh. I can deal with it. Every once in a while, you run across some place like this, and you remember that the world can still be a beautiful place. We are really close to Vault 88. I think we are. Not sure I really want to go there right now. It's going to cost me a couple of uh, fusion cores to get access, which I don't really want to spend right now. Where's the entrance? I don't see anything on my mini map. I want to say it's up the hill here. might actually work out. Yeah, there it is right there. Awesome. Yeah, Vault 81, excuse me. Got a sleeping bag right there. Alright, we will definitely come back here. I don't want to go here right now because, again, like I said, I don't want to pay the price. fusion cores to get in. I don't think I can talk my way in yet. I don't think I have a high enough uh, social skill. Or, excuse me, enough talents and in in charisma, whatever the hell it is. I'll come back with some sexy clothes and whatnot and get, talk my way in. No problem. And I really want to go pick up Curie, because I really like Curie. Okay, how close am I? To where I need to be here. Uh, not too far. Hello, Raider. Do I need to pick a fight with you? Probably not. Doesn't mean I don't have an urge to, though. Ah, missed. Where is he? Yeah. Yeah, I know there's something out there, because I just shot at him. There he is! Over here. Alright, there goes the dog. He's a tough little devil. Uh, got him. All right, cool. What is... Oh, that was Garvey. I was like, what the hell? Let's see if we got anything good over there to loot. Let's see, where'd the dog go? I could use the meat. Strong, stranger sentence I've never uttered before. Ah, you know what? I don't see the body. I hate it when that happens. Ah, well. Not really that worried about it. I 
will say that it took a couple of shots to get those raiders down, but not many. I'm wondering if survival mode plus the uh, the bro mod is the best idea. I think one is supposed to uh, take precedence over the other. This way you're just really glass cannony. Let's see what the raider gear looks like. It's not bad in that uh, particular circumstance. doesn't weigh anything either. Jesus. Oh no, it says weight 23. That's pretty heavy. But just in lead lined. What it says weight 0. Huh. Weight 0 on that as well. Maybe because it's worn? I don't know. Let's see. Knuckles are still useless. Leather's not bad. Metal, of course, is better. Guy has two versions of brass knuckles on him, because, hey, why not? Yeah, that would hurt like hell. Another chest piece. It's like protection against poison, I think. That's a really good damn helmet. Although I'm pretty sure it's green and not yellow. Nice try, Bethesda. Okay, what do we got? Whiskey? I'll take it. Oh, Preston, did you fall off the damn... Ah, I really wish the companions were not so damn retarded. <sighs> Every time... Just make the companions immune to fall damage if they're going to be so stupid with their pathing. That's all I'm asking. If there's a chance that a companion is going to fall off something, they will fall off it. I've had it happen to Codsworth, which is really annoying when you don't have robot repair kit. Oh, shit. Robot repair kits early on. Oh, ghouls take a few hits. That's not nice. Alright, good. Whew. What are they doing up here? Apparently eating a scavenger who forgot to bring any clothes. Do I even want to know why that is a thing? I probably don't. Alright. Anyway, what I was saying is that you get Codsworth early on, but in survival mode you don't have any robot repair kits, so when he inevitably falls off something, it's pretty damn annoying. Just making the companions immune to fall damage I think would do a lot to navigate that issue. Westing Estates. I don't know this one. I don't know this one at all. Huh. Not particularly. So we got Meyer Lurk eggs here. Seems like something important. Ah, damn it. Hoping to jump past Preston. Get to, come, Garvey, get out of the way, dude. There we go. That's better. Oh, hello. Hey, hey, nice time for a level up. Okay, increased weapon damage plus the fact that... Oh, hello. 
I have been here before. This is for uh, Mo over at Diamond City. See, Preston fell off again. Dumbass. Oh, hello. Almost missed you, the Unstoppables. Nice. An ammo box for some more plasma rounds. Eh, might as well grab these. Yeah, I haven't been to this area in quite a while. What's skittering at me? Oh. Uh, leader of the Minutemen he is. So yeah, we needed the uh, glove, the ball, and the card for a mission over in Diamond City, which is perfect. Of course, now the card's getting wet. Oh, come on. There is a mod that removes all water elements from the game. Tried it out once. It is absolutely amazing. And downright weird. <laughs> Alright, so we are currently hungry, thirsty, and sick. So what can we do to solve this problem? We can eat food. We can drink water. But I don't have any medicine. I didn't bring any antibiotics. And the, uh, the herbal supplements... I still don't know how those work. I think you're supposed to take them before you go to bed. And it's supposed to, like, strengthen you up. Having a low luck can really hurt you when it comes to illnesses. I am aware of that, and I do have a very low luck. Luck's kind of a dump step for me. I don't really use it very much. But if you take the herbal supplements before you go to sleep, you should be a little bit safer. I don't know if you can hear that over the music, but I hear something. Okay, we want to go in there later. How close are we here? About right on top of it, I'd say. Oh, I seem to remember there being a rad scorpion around here somewhere. seem to recall. Now nah, looks like somebody's playing nice with others. Whoa! How did I do to you guys? Well, the power armor's doing its job. Okay, stop it. Stop it. Thank you. I could use another one of those if you can spare it. Yeah. Stop being weak, Preston. All right. So, this might actually make the game a little bit too easy cuz I tanked most of that without a problem and killed them all with a pistol. I don't know. Okay, got the radar beacon. I'll take that. I think that's an additional mod. But I can't take the Gatling gun arm you're using. 
That was Tankbot. Tankbot does not have any fusion cores for me, unfortunately. The hell are you? Hey. Can't remember the last time I had clean fingernails. Or a face that didn't make people vomit. Just throwing that out there. Looks like your friend didn't make it. Now you guys don't belong to me, do you? Huh. I actually think those two settlers did most of the work before I showed up. Good lord. That's not a bad little hangout they've got set up here. Yeah, not too bad at all. It's actually all fine and dandy until the uh, bots decide to come through. Let's see, we have a perk. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, we're going to take Ghoulish. Having radiation heal your health. Very, very useful in the wasteland. Of course, radiation is bad for you, but it evens out. I get a rad scrub for free at home, so... Let's see, what else do we have going on right now? I've got the electronic... Yeah, we're going to go in here real quick. This is going to hurt, I think, a little bit. But Yeah, the one downside is the way the uh, weapon damage scales with an automatic weapon. I should not have been able to clear those guys out nearly as easily as I did. I and mean, how the settlers did most of the work anyway. That tank bot was about destroyed, and so was the uh, robo brain that I dealt with. Welcome to the Greater Massachusetts Electrical Hobbyist Association. Nobody's here right now, so please leave a message. All right, and the door is locked. Locks really strong. There's a back door, however, if I remember correctly. Let's see, is my health going up? Uh, I can't tell, honestly. I know at higher ranks this is actually a pretty damn good talent. Okay, where's the back door into this place? Here we go. Now, this is the part where it gets really, really, oh my god, annoying. Okay, Preston? Hey. Point it out. Head over there. Got it. He can't die anyway. Nor can he apparently set off traps. Fine, it's fine. Come oh, on, Preston, don't do that to me. Don't run in front of me like that. Alright. That could have gone horribly wrong. Almost did anyway, since Preston decided he didn't want to set off the set off the traps for me like a good boy. There's a turret around here somewhere. Okay, one frag mine. Bunch of cool little robot parts. And some useful scrap. Lots and lots of bombs. This place is just overloaded with things that go boom. Oof, 
Sorry if I'm just breathing a little hard. This area makes me a little bit nervous. Ah. And for excellent reason. Right, where the hell is that coming from over there? And that's why it makes me nervous. This area does not like us. That gizmo of yours is buzzing for a reason. Radiation. And I don't mind radiation anymore. It's all good, baby. What's my way at? Getting pretty close. Alrighty. After this, we'll head back into town, and I will, sh or head back to camp, and I will show you one of the other mods that I have. Preston, so help me God, you set one of these traps off, and I will murder you. kids. Not even going to give you the chance. I don't remember what sets her off, but I ain't going to let it happen. Oh, that kind of hurt a little bit. All right. Salt con control shut down, which I don't really need to do because it's all blown up. All right, cool. And we've got some Hobby Club messages. Gold pocket watch. Black chrome glasses. Small picture frames. I don't actually have pictures in them, which is... I don't know, a little sad. A little bit of attention to detail would have been nice on that one, guys. Just saying. Get rid of that bombs. Get some food. Alright, coolant. There should be some more wonder glue over here as well, too. I just need to find it. But yeah, those are a couple of... Uh, a couple of nerds were set up when the bombs went off, and they just kind of stayed here till they died. Can't really blame them. The whole world was going to hell. I wouldn't want to leave either. Armor crafting workshop. Bag of cement. That is really disturbing. Stop that. Okay, bobby pin box. I seem to remember there being something special in here, but I cannot remember what it is. Yeah, it's, it's not just a random location. There's something here, I'd swear. Huh. And it's not coming to mind. Oh well, not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. It is, however, a little unfortunate that they don't have a chemistry workshop here. I love, oh, well, why don't you know? They have one right here. Yeah, look how fast my health went up there. Let's do that. I don't have the wood for it, damn it. 
Ooh, get back in the armor. Jeez, this place is lit up like a Christmas tree. Oh my god! I am so close to just getting fried here. Did I bring it right away? Yeah, I did. That's crazy. It's my health at one. Right, let's, let's pop some of that as well. I think it's time for us to get the hell out of here. This place is just way too hot. Well, that could have been very, very bad. <laughs> oh, I actually do have the missile launcher. I don't think I want to walk back to home base at this point. Am I still looking all ghoulish? Yeah, I am. That's okay, though. But, if you look back, my health did pick up real quick. Now, combine that with some of the higher levels of that perk where your uh, radiation starts to naturally quickly drain itself away as well. You're in pretty good shape at that point. Okay, where's the bird? Ah, oh, there he is. Greetings, gentlemen. All right. I haven't heard that line of dialogue before. That's actually kind of cool. Oh, one thing I will say, I do love riding in a bird bird. All right, so... Just off of my understanding of the uh, mod in question, it actually works really, really well. I felt a lot tankier, pun intended, than I usually do. I want to see if I can blow up that car. Uh, that said, I think the weapon damage is scaled a little, a little oddly. Uh, I shouldn't be able to blow through a couple of uh, tank bots, even if they were slightly damaged with just a basic pistol. So my 10 millimeter is not that heavily upgraded. It's really not. So, not sure if I like that aspect of it. But since they fixed the carry weight issue, I am going to keep using it, and I'm going to see about using it without the uh, the powered armor next time. I know that could potentially be suicide, but I'm pretty sure I've got some uh, sentry bot upgrades I can give to Ada. I'll take her with me. So that should be fun. Let's see, how far are we from home base? Uh, pretty close, actually. I do love how quickly you uh, travel on this. Fortunately, it's a bit of a foggy evening, and we can't see anything, so... You can see the pilot. I can't see Preston, now. Oh, here we go. Oh, there he is. He's just sitting there, hanging out, being cool. <laughs> what? No co-pilot, really? No co-pilot? That's horrible. This thing looks like an oversized uh, attack bee with those eyes on it and everything. Ah. This is... You know, if I could actually control the vertebrate and, like, fly it myself, even if all I could do was uh, move... Uh, on the horizontal plane, and then set my altitude up or down. That would be so much fun. <laughs> I would love that so much. Yeah, this is actually kind of cool. Not a very fast uh, air aircraft, though, i got to admit. Oh, 
Although that's probably just a gaming conceit anyway. Alright, we should be coming up on our landing zone. Yeah, there's the red rocket dead ahead. There's Abernathy over there and that hidden bunker that I don't use because it's got some really broken gear in it. Actually went really well. It's darker than hell, but that's all right. Let me do this real quick and <laughs> decontaminate, cause oh my god! Ooh. All right, Ada. Here you go, Ada. One slightly dented but still functional radar beacon. This will do nicely, and with any luck, it'll help us trace the mechanist's signal. I hope getting it was worth the trouble. I'm sorry for treating the component caused you any harm. I almost I'm going died. To begin my decryption routine, but it could take a while. In the meantime, I've picked up another RoboBrain beacon signal. It should be the last one you'll need to collect. Good work, Ada. Thank you. If my calculations are correct. The signal is coming from inside oh, the house. <laughs> Location confirmed. The Robo Brain is at Fort Hagen satellite array, which means it's in the hands of the Rust Devils. Who or what are the Rust Devils? Allow me to explain. My old caravan encountered them once while crossing the river into the city. The Rust Devils are a group of ruthless raiders who utilize robots for their nefarious practices. They scour the Commonwealth looking for my kind. What they can't capture and reprogram, they strip for spare parts. I realize they pose a greater threat to me than you. I just uh, no, they're, they're still well totally fact. capable of that killing me. Said, <laughs> despite what lies ahead, I'd be more than happy to accompany you, if you like. If not, then all that remains is to wish you good luck. All right, so that's oh, that's gonna be a pain in the ass. I may I may not want to do that without power armor. Just gonna throw that out there. That might be a bad thing to do without powered armor. Hell, I might actually want to take the minigun for that. Didn't mean to cut you off there, either, but drop that. Let's see something here. Yeah, I'm in my tidy whities. I probably still weigh a ton. No, actually. 185 out of 225. That's not nearly as much weight as I thought. Huh. It's actually kind of odd. All right, we're going to break that down. Yeah, it's a little odd that my carry weight's so high. Yeah, not that I mind, really, because it allows me to do fun stuff with it, but... And let's see what effects I have on right now as well, because... Alright, I've got the adrenaline for the extra damage, the insomnia requires more sleep, I'm tired, so my action point refresh is 5% worse. I'm hungry, so my charisma and my endurance is down. I'm thirsty, so my intelligence and my perception is down. My immunity is suppressed, and I've got fortified carry weight, so that might have something to do with it as well. So with a rag stag... And an army fatigues. That puts me up at 235. 
Which isn't too bad, honestly. Uh, do you are you holding anything for me? Hey, go ahead. No, he's not. And you have two stim packs. Hey. Fucking heal yourself, damn it. Alright, where is my chemistry lab? I want to do this last thing. It's gonna be a fun test. Uh there it is. All right, campfire. Nice. Have not had the opportunity to test one of these yet. But it seemed... This is one of those mods I like because it would be very immersive. Because why couldn't I take supplies with me to start a campfire wherever I go? I need a place to sleep. Set a campfire. Just like that. So now I have access to the workshop, which means I can build stuff like a sleeping bag, a mattress, a tent, which is going to take some supplies, of course, a chair, an oil lamp, decorative fire, does not function as a campfire, workbench, a duffel bag, suitcase, another tent. All right, so let's build a tent. And I get all this back when I'm done. No. Alright. I can move the tent around. No, 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 no. Okay, now I can sleep in here. Does it allow me to get a full eight hours of sleep? That's the question I have. That's... I don't usually get a loading screen when I do this, so did it just crash on me? Doesn't sound like it. Can't sleep more than three hours. Okay, so it is just a sleeping bag, but it does allow me to put a save down. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Still, that is kind of cool. And I can store this. That will stick around, but I can always store that as well. And I should... I didn't. I thought you got the... Uh... Oh, it's because I stored it. Damn it. I can put a water pump in, cooking station, some workbenches if you need it. Small cabin. A pillar for use with the pillar glitch. Oh, that's for uh, building stuff. Okay, so let's put that cabin in. Nice. Now, do I have... The ability to make a bed? Not like a sleeping bag or anything, just a regular bed. Can I do that? A mattress. It's a dirty mattress, but still a mattress. So is eight hours of sleep possible with this? I don't think that worked. I think I only got five hours on that one. Alright, so, five hours on that. Okay, it's still not bad, though. It allows me to place a save. Alright, let's scrap all this. 